Hello! Hi! How's it going? Why does it look like I'm an Adam's apple? Hey everybody! Welcome to my YouTube channel, and if you're new here, welcome to my YouTube channel. So the holidays are coming up, it's holiday season, it's almost the end of October, we're rolling into November and then December and then hey, it's the new year, 2020. In spirit of holiday season, I thought I would do a tutorial on how to wear a red lip. So let's get into the video. I have a bunch of different red shades. I'm gonna be going through like the do's and don'ts and which red shade will look the best on you. So if you wanna keep watching, if you're interested, stay tuned. Also, if you, <laughs> I feel so silly saying this, but if you like my channel, subscribe, please. We're gonna have fun. So in honor of spooky season, I'm going to pin my hair back with the skeleton clips just so it's out of my face. The first thing I do is use the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer by First Aid Beauty. All the products will be listed down below. So the key to a really good red lip is to keep your makeup fairly simple. You want people to be focusing on your lips versus everything else that's going on. So we're going to keep it simple. I'm going to very lightly do my brows. I'm not going to pay too much attention to perfecting them or carving them out or making them look super strong because again, we don't want to attract too much attention to the brows. We're trying to attract attention to the lips. So I do really want to quickly say before we start the makeup, I hate saying this going backwards, but when you wear a red lip, your outfit does matter because you don't want to wear like a yellow top and have it clash with the red lip. So what I'm wearing is this baby doll cherry dress. You can't really see it, but it looks like this. Obviously the cherries and the red go with the red lip. A black turtleneck is really sophisticated with a red lip. White looks really good with a red lip. Anything that's pretty neutral, like camel color. The colors like this back here look good with a red lip. Um, black, obviously. So. Yeah, don't wear like a yellow jacket like that with a red lip, <laughs> unless you really want to, unless you're really going for something out there. I'm just filling in areas that are a little bit sparse, because I'm trying not to go crazy with the brows. Okay, so not too crazy, right? Okay, let's hope not. Okay, moving on to face, I'm going to explain what I do and then just not show it because it's boring. I like to take my NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector in the shade Medium as we've seen before if you've watched any of my other videos and I put that underneath my eyes like this I just do it as a base because my I have really dark under eye circles the next thing I'm going to do is take this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer stick thing I'm in the shade Bone which is what my uncle calls me, he calls me Bones so it makes me think of him every time so sweet. if you are someone who wants to apply heavier coverage go for it it's all you, girl. I'm just gonna keep my makeup pretty light. Whoa, I look, I look terrible like this. Why didn't anyone tell me? Whoa, okay. I'm gonna blend this in and I'll see you in a bit. So I've blended in everything to my skin. And the next thing I'm gonna do is apply liquid highlighter. The reason why I'm doing this instead of using a powdered highlighter, this versus this, is because I want that glow to shine through versus look super obvious on top. I don't want the glow to be the highlight. Ooh, see what I did there? I don't want it to be the prime focus of what people are looking at. So when I blend this in, it's gonna look more like a natural glow than a really obvious, really evident highlighter. I don't understand how people apply powder and then put on liquids. It does not make sense to me. My skin doesn't like it. My, it everything just kind of starts smudging and looking terrible. I'm really focusing on the brow bone. I'm not getting it in the center of my cheeks because I don't really want that to look highlighted. So after we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and lock it in. As usual, I'm using the Urban Decay Velvetizer Setting Powder. I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and set my skin, and then I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush to get like the creases like around my eyes and my smile lines. I'm going to use a bronzer. This is my go-to Anastasia Beverly Hills in Rich Amber bronzer. I'm not a huge fan of it. I really wish I could buy another one, but I don't want to spend the money on another one right now. I'm going to carve out and do my normal bronzer routine. You'll be able to see it here. I basically take the bronzer and I lift it up to my cheek in a natural way. 
so that it gives me more cheekbones. I mean, I have cheekbones, but I think it looks really pretty. I hate just stopping my bronzer right here. I use bronzer kind of as my contour as well. So, you see how I do that? I just lift it up. So it becomes almost like blush, which is great because we're not going to really be adding blush because I don't want too much pink on my face. I'm going to do my neck right here. Cheek. I like to bring it down so it doesn't look like a stark line. So I get behind where my ears are. I want to grab and put on my ears so that my ears look like the same color. And I'm going to take um, a brush like this. Eyeshadow brush, but I'm going to do my nose. This is me contouring my nose, which is just getting bronzer, getting the tip like this. Getting this top part right here, and then kind of just shadowing it a little bit with bronzer. With this small little eyeshadow brush, I'm going to use the bronzer as an eyeshadow. It's almost like bronzing your eyelids. <laughs> I'm going to put it underneath too right here if you can tell. So that's basically it for the skin. It looks really pretty. It looks really basic. We're going to go ahead and spray it. I really like to do a little wing with the whole red lip just because it's just a little fun, but it's going to be really natural. I'm taking this dark brown NYX eyebrow and eye pencil. And then I'm going to be putting it on my tight line. And I can even put some on the bottom of my eye. Just a half right here. So I'm going to be taking this Pat McGrath Dual Ended Marker. It's like an eyeliner. And I'm really just getting it right on the end right here. I don't know if I will be able to show this on camera because I don't really want to mess up, but I just go like this. So I finished doing it off camera because I'm really not that coordinated. I'm also not that good at eyeliner. I only do it on the ends right here. I don't go all the way up. So this is an optional step. A lot of um, beautiful fresh face red lips don't require eyeliner. I just kind of did it for fun, kind of like for the holidays. So. You of course can skip this step. Sometimes when I do a red lip, I only do face makeup. I only add the bronzer and then a little bit of mascara and then I do the red lip. Just saying. To finish off the eyes, I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes and add mascara. I'm not a lash person and I also don't recommend lashes for a red lip because again, we're trying to focus on the lips. The eyelashes kind of distract, but if you really wanna wear eyelashes, um, I would recommend maybe small ones. Just because it's my red lip doesn't mean it has to be yours. That's so lame. Okay, so this mascara is this Ilia mascara that was in my Clean Beauty video. Um, not that I absolutely love it, it's just that my other mascara is basically um, on its last limb and I'm too lazy to buy another one even though I was just at Walmart today so I guess I could have bought one. Look at this! Reusable straw, by the way. This is Re I Chi I Ru. Re Chiru, which is my name in Japanese. Moving on, when doing a red lip, it's important to know do you want to do gloss or matte? If you want to do matte, pretty easy. If you want to do gloss, I would recommend having your hair back so that if you're outside and the wind blows, it's not getting all in your lips, it will ruin your lips, it sucks. If you are a cool tone person, so if you like look at your veins here and you notice that your veins appear more blue, that means you're a cool tone or you have cool tone skin. If you have more greenish veins, that means you have more yellow tones or warmer skin and if you are somewhat in the middle you can kind of fluctuate from both but I tend to be more on the warm like medium side so yeah I'm a little bit you can't really tell but like warmer complexion uh, because I'm mixed Pacific Islander Caucasian so I do have a little bit of warm blood in me and so warmer tones tend to look better and the warmer tones I use are these two this one's kind of a mix of like cool and warm, so that's like a really good one for me. And then this one's pretty warmish orangey, but it still looks really good. Versus this is a MAC lipstick. It's called Diva. It's like well known as like a good red, and I'm going to swatch it. It's a little bit cooler tone. I used to love it, and I thought it looked really good on me, but it doesn't, so that's Diva. 
um, MAC. So this would look really good on people with cool or fair um, skin. Even if you have like really dark skin, I think it would look really good. This is Bobbi Brown and this shade is the color Ruby. It's a little bit more sheer, looks like that. And that one I would say is a mixture of warm and cool. It definitely is more on the cooler side. This is a NYX lip liner, but it's like pretty thick so you can use it as like a lipstick. And it's in the shade Cruella. This one I would say is a little bit warmer, but still like neutral cool tone. So also good for someone who has um, like uh, cooler tones. And then now we're going to go into the ones that I prefer, which I will be showing you today. This is a matte liquid lipstick by Pat McGrath. The shade is called Revelation Red. It actually was on sale, which is honestly why I bought it, because Pat McGrath is expensive. And this one definitely is warmer, if you can tell. It's a matte lipstick. It dries matte, at least. And now we're going to go to my favorite one, which is the gloss. This is by Chanel, and it is the color 752 Rouge Cocoa Gloss. These glosses will last you a really, really long time if you're not, like, obviously using it every two seconds. So this is what the gloss looks like. Obviously, it's really orangey-red. It looks great. So... Those are the ranges. These are, I would recommend for cooler toned skins, kind of going off to really warm toned skin. I would recommend playing around with red lipsticks to see which kind looks best on you. I've figured out that the warmer tones look best on me. So I always recommend starting off with a red lip with a lip liner because it will really help make your lips look precise and not like kind of uneven, blotchy, and bad. It's really hard to put on red lipstick when you don't really have it outlined. It's almost like drawing within the lines. You want to make sure you have the lines drawn before you start putting on the lipstick. So I'm going to be taking my favorite uh, NYX lip liner. This is Peekaboo Neutral. The reason why I take a neutral nude color is because I don't want a red lip liner to, to determine the shade of my lipstick. You can draw your lips actually whatever size you want if you want to go according to your lip size or a little bit over. The most important part is that you're drawing lines that can help guide you and you're using uh, the red lipstick. I'm going to start with my Pat McGrath lipstick to show you guys a matte lip and then I'm going to move to the grand finale which is the gloss. I love the gloss. This is the Pat McGrath lipstick. Let's put it on. Ah, wow, it makes me feel so empowered having a red lip. So this is the first red lip. Um, as you can tell, I feel like as you can tell, I hope as you can tell, it goes with the color of my skin. It's really hard to show what my skin color looks like because of the ring light. It makes me look a little washed out. This is the red lip and it's like really nice to have natural looking makeup with the red lip because it really is the center focus and it doesn't look like too much is going on so yeah now I'm gonna put on the gloss which is my favorite I really like this matte I think it's really nice and I can't wait to wear it more over the holidays but I really want to be fun and wear my gloss so I'm gonna take this off it kind of is sad taking it off because it looks good I'm starting to fall in love with red lips <laughs> okay, this is gonna be the outline for my lips. I'm gonna go back in with my lip liner just to Fix everything again. This is the Chanel lip gloss in the color 252. I will put everything down in the description box Oh my gosh, this color is so pretty. So this is the gloss. It is so pretty and so fun for red lips I would have my hair back. I would probably if I was doing this for real I would put it in a ponytail like slick it back in a ponytail a fancy one or put it my hair in a bun just because the gloss like I said against the wind does not work so you need to have your hair back if you're going out in public or if there's wind if it's late at night and there's no wind you're good but this is the red lip so that is the end of my video thank you so much for watching it really means a lot to me I have a lot of fun making these videos it's fun for me to put on makeup. Please let me know what you think. If you like this video, please subscribe. Please give me a like or a dislike. I'm trying to figure out stuff I want to make. It's just as fun to do like makeup stuff because I feel like like the beauty industry or like the makeup community on YouTube is like 
a lot of thick eyelashes and like heavy makeup and just like I like to keep it a little bit more simple so I feel like I contribute to that community in that kind of way. I don't know if people even care about the beauty community anymore because um, back in the day it's like all I watched and now it's like not. <laughs> so anyway I'm rambling but I hope this red lip inspires you to wear it for the holidays to kind of get into the festivities of the season that is now approaching and I hope you guys have a great rest of October and I will see you in my next video. Okay, thank you. Can you guys see my outfit? Is it blurry? It's like a cute little baby doll. Cherry. Action. Okay. Now I'm going for real. <laughs>